Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In the past, I had demonstrated a number of data recovery solutions for different data loss scenarios, from ordinary deleting of your files or folders to situations where you have not only deleted but also formatted the storage drive where you had your data, or maybe you have copied another set of data to it. Worse still, situations where you have repeated this cycle of deleting and formatting several times over on the same storage drive. Now, in addition to all these data loss scenarios, there is one more scenario I'll be demonstrating in this tutorial, which happens quite a lot these days, which is the blue screen error or blue screen of death. It could also be a black screen or infinite boot loop or some other errors that prevent your PC from booting to desktop. Now, these errors could be coming from either hardware related or software related causes. One of the potential hardware-related causes of such blue or black screen errors is bad storage drives, from having bad memory sector to having faulty electronic components. Needless to say that if your blue screen is coming from defective storage drive, then you cannot rely on a software solution to fix it. So a customer dropped off this laptop because it was having a blue screen error and wouldn't respond to any popular fixes. She therefore wanted her files backed up and a new Windows installed to the PC. I took out the hard drive, attached it to another PC and tried to access the files. Initially, I could see a new drive that doesn't seem readily accessible. I tried to open it up and an error popped up saying the request could not be performed because of an I.O. device error. So obviously the drive itself is either badly corrupt, has some bad sectors or maybe damaged. With that, I knew I needed a more advanced tool if I would stand any chance of recovering any files from the drive. I therefore launched my EaseOS Data Recovery Wizard Pro, a very powerful data recovery solution. Now, not just was it able to fully recover all the files from this almost damaged disk, the EaseOS Data Recovery Wizard had all the files neatly arranged in their corresponding folders as if I was just using a normal Windows Explorer. From here, I selected the files the customer needed, proceeded with the recovery, backed them up, installed a new windows to the machine, and moved back the files with no issues. Now, this is just one of the many situations where the EZOS Data Recovery Wizard has saved my day. I found this particular scenario quite outstanding because here the default Windows Explorer couldn't even access the drive entirely. And I've seen cases where customers had to give up on essential data due to such persistent blue screen or black screen errors. I've had several other scenarios where this tool finds critical applications, basically with any storage drive, be it a USB stick, external hard disk or SSD, SD cards for cameras, micro SD cards for phones or just about any other storage media as to what kind of files you can recover they could range from office documents to emails spreadsheets presentations photos videos audio files and much more here i will simulate a couple of other common scenarios just to show how far this tool can go in recovering your lost data before that let's quickly talk about how to obtain the application the link down in the video description will take you to this page and here you have the option to either buy now or download now, the good thing about this is that you can first download and install the free version of this application. And with that, you can perform a full scan on the drive you want to recover your lost files from. Then after the scan has revealed the files you are interested in, you can then come back and use the buy now button to purchase the license and activate the application to enable you to actually recover the lost files. Now I've reached out to EaseOS and they have agreed to offer you, the viewers, a 20% discount on any version of the application you decide to buy. The coupon code for the 20% discount is EasyTex. So here in this USB stick, I have some demo files to represent some common file formats. Here I have PDF, PNGs, MP3s, MP4, JPEG and doc files. Now I will go ahead and delete all these files and try to recover them. Here I'll be using the Shift plus Delete option just to ensure that the files are completely deleted and not moved to the recycle bin. And now with the free version of the application installed, I will go ahead to scan the USB stick for the deleted files. Now here notice that the scan completed fairly quickly and now I can see all the 8 files I had previously deleted among other files that were previously deleted from this drive. So from here I can simply select the files I'm interested in and then hit recover to recover them.
Now, this is how far the free version can get you as far as data recovery is concerned. So if you can see your lost files here, then you can purchase the license key to activate and recover them. If you have already purchased your license key, you can simply click on this enter license here, paste your license key and hit activate to activate it. From here, simply select the destination where you want to save the recovered files. Now, you shouldn't save them to the same location from where they were recovered. So, select some other location. Here, I will choose desktop. Hit select folder. And that should start the recovery process. And just as I showed earlier, the files will be recovered and saved to my desktop. From this basic scenario, I decided to try a more complex situation. So first, I delete the files. Then, format the drive using default Windows Quick Formatting. Then afterwards, I will try to recover the files using the Ease OS Data Recovery tool once again. Now, after scanning, we now have these three folders, unlike in the initial case where the files were outrightly revealed. In this case, we have these three folders containing the lost files. Here, I will just hit recover all. And then afterwards, we'll check in each folder to see what files were recovered. So here, as you can see, each folder contains the corresponding file type. So depending on the type of file you are seeking to recover, you can check the corresponding folder to see if it was recovered. Here we also have a folder named file name lost and when I open it, it further has these different categories of files and opening each one shows the files that belong to the file type that have lost their file names during recovery. These files are very much intact so I can just copy them out and rename them as I want. So basically if your drive is somewhat recognized by Windows, then you have a very high chances of recovering your lost data using this ESOS Data Recovery Wizard. And that is it for this tutorial. You will find links to further details down in the video description. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.